there everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Martha, your trashy godmother. I am happy to be back and we are here today to discuss my experience with K-Contact season two. I was chosen to be a part of the live K-Conners deal, like the live audience over Zoom. Uh, and I did a little YouTube community post asking if y'all wanted to hear about it and you said yes. So. We're gonna talk a little bit about my experience last weekend as I am currently filming this. Because of the state of the world right now, KCON is all online for a while. They did one back in the summertime and then they returned this month, October, for season two. So they announced their lineup for each day and then um, Basically, KCON is like a membership, like a YouTube membership thing, like you pay to be a member of the Mnet K-pop channel. Uh, so it's like $20 per month, but you can just cancel your subscription after KCON and not be charged per month. Um, although I do believe the video on demand gets released next month, so I might just pay 40 bucks so I can like see everything again later. Anyway, so you have to pay $20 to get in and to watch everything um, just because the videos that are released and the live streams and the concerts are all for members only so if you don't pay for it you can't see it um, and so in order to apply to be a live KCONner you have to be signed up for this membership so I signed up and then through their social media and on their YouTube community page they're like hey do you want to be in the live audience for K-Conners? Uh, click this link and apply. So the link that you click on brings you to a Google document that kind of explains the process, uh, how things are going to go, and then it gives you links to each artist because there's a different application per artist. So there was a whole bunch of links. So basically you pick which artist you want to apply for, click their link, and then fill out the application there. So if you want to apply for multiple artists, you have to fill out multiple applications. So the questions on these applications are, what is your full legal name, date of birth, um, you know, are you over 18? Oh, uh, what else? What is your country of residence? What is your YouTube channel name? Uh, like your display name on your YouTube channel and that has to match the channel that you are applying with. So if you have multiple YouTube channels, make sure uh, you double check which one you're applying with because if that display name doesn't match the one that you put down on the form, they're just gonna not use your application, basically. If you just want to be a part of the audience that the performers see in front of them, then you don't have to, uh, you know, tell them why you want to apply. But there were one-on-one -on -one video call applications, and if you want to apply for those, you have to explain why you are applying for the video call. Um, and people actually got pretty in-depth with some of these answers, um, so I guess they do read them. Um, I mean, gosh, you probably have to sit through thousands of those and read, read, read. Um, but I guess if they're getting paid to do it. <laughs> I applied for the one-on-one -on -one video call for ATs and Eyes One, my alt boy and girl groups. Uh, and then I applied for the live concerts uh, for Ace and Woods. So I got into two of the four I applied for. I got into the live concerts for Ace and for Woods. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get those video calls for ATs and Eyes One, but that's chill. We're cool. Um, you know, I, I honestly wasn't expecting to get in at all. <laughs> I, I was kind of shocked. I received an email ping at like five in the morning and they're like, hi. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Once you uh, get your acceptance email, if you get an acceptance email, uh, you get one email per artist. So just like you filled out a different application per artist, you get a, a different email for each artist. So I got an email about Ace and I got an email about Woods. So they send you an email like, hi, welcome to Live K Connors. They give you all of your access information that you need because this is all done through Zoom. Uh, so you have to have Zoom on your computer. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, do already. Um, and they give you a meeting room uh, number, they give you a password, and they give you a personal code. Uh, so the meeting room and the password is different for each artist, 
Obviously, each artist has a different room because everybody goes on at different times. Your personal code is what you set up as your name in the Zoom chat. You cannot have your own display name uh, for KCON. You have to use this personal code that they sent you via email. It's a bunch of numbers and then like your initials. So uh, if your personal code does not match what they sent you, they will not let you into the room. There is actually a rehearsal uh, <laughs> a few days before KCON happens um, and you go in, basically it's just to check and see if your Zoom is working. Like if you've used Zoom and you're confident you don't have to do this rehearsal, um, but basically they give you like a code and a room meeting and password for the rehearsal. You use it, you practice getting into the room uh, and they check your cameras, they check you in and you're like, cool, awesome, thanks, we'll see you at KCON. And you're like, oh, okay. I sat there for like an hour waiting <laughs> to get into the rehearsal thing. Um, but not, next time I'm just, I'm good. I know my Zoom works, we're cool. So they also have some camera specifications. In order to be a live KCONner, you have to have uh, enough lighting. They have to be able to physically see all of you. You can't like cover your face with stuff. Um, in the picture they showed somebody in a ski mask, so no ski masks. <laughs> um, uh, you have to see your face. The background has to be um, pretty clear like no offensive messages, uh, no scantily clad posters, um, and they say that you can't have like video uh, of the artist running in the background. Like, of course, if you have like posters and stuff, I think that's okay. But like, they don't want you like playing music videos or performances in the background because um, that would be distracting. Uh, let's see. And also, that's one thing that's very, very important is that your screen on Zoom must not be mirrored. Zoom automatically mirrors your video, but you go into your video settings and uncheck that box to make sure that your video is not mirrored and they will check this, which I'll talk about later on. So those are all of the video specifications. Uh, and you are definitely encouraged to bring cheering materials like fan signs, light sticks, uh, anything like that you are definitely encouraged to use and bring to KCON. So getting to the actual days of, so I did this Saturday morning and Sunday morning of last week. So because time zones are a thing, uh, there is a check-in time. Uh, so it's the same check-in time. It was like 2100 hours uh, Korean standard time, which is 5 a.m. My time. So both mornings I woke up at 4.30, you know, I put on my little face wash headband and I got my coffee, uh, sat down in front of the camera and, you know, put in my personal code and typed everything in and checked in with KCON staff at 5 a.m. Uh, for this meeting. So basically, you don't have to be like ready to see your artist at that point. You don't have to have your face done, because I didn't. Uh, <laughs> you just have to be there physically and they have to be able to be like, okay, this person, it's like attendance, like they're checking attendance at this particular time. Then, uh, once they check and make sure everybody's there, uh, the staff will type a message to everybody in the Zoom chat and they'll be like, hey, be ready for camera check at this particular time. Um, and the time really depends on when your artist is performing. And that's one thing that I really would appreciate from KCON staff next time is to have a schedule. Um, like the general public doesn't need to know the schedule, but like if you're gonna be there, um, I would like to know when my artist is gonna perform so I can be ready, but they're like, okay, Camera checks are at this time. Be in front of your camera, seated by this time in order to participate. And for Ace, it was like two hours later. So I had two hours to make a fan sign, put on my face, get everything ready. Uh, and I think for Woods, it was like an hour and a half. And so you do a camera check later at that specific time. Once you're done doing your face and doing all this stuff, you come sit back down, make sure your camera's turned on. Uh, and the KCON staff will turn your video on and off for you. Um, you can turn your camera off when you go like do your face or do whatever in between camera checks But in between the camera check and the actual performance of your artists you leave your camera on don't turn it off 
because KCON staff will uh, start and stop your video for you whenever they need to. Camera check specifics. So you remember how I mentioned your video can't be mirrored, your screen can't be mirrored? Um, they're like, hey, hold up something with writing on it to your camera so we can make sure your screen is not mirrored. Uh, and if your screen is mirrored, they will send you a message one-on-one uh, -on -one through, through Zoom to be like, hey, Go to these settings, uncheck that box, and make sure your video isn't mirrored. Uh, I unchecked that box before I got into the room, so I didn't get any messages and everything was good. That was pretty simple. Uh, and one interesting thing is that, of course, through Zoom, you can see everybody else and their cameras. Um, so I kind of had fun in between checks kind of scrolling through. I sound so creepy. Uh, I loved scrolling through and like seeing everybody. Like I loved seeing what everybody was wearing or what their fan sign said. Um, I don't know. I just, I love, I love seeing other K-pop fans. I just think it's so much fun. Uh, so that, I just, I don't know. There are probably people creeping on me too. <laughs> But that was kind of an interesting thing, is seeing all the other fans. Uh, and in between camera checks, before staff would turn on and off the videos, we'd all like wave to each other and be like, bye! <laughs> um, so all of our sound was off. So nobody could hear each other, but we could see each other. So we were kind of like, I don't know, we were trying to like physically gesture and talk to each other uh, in between camera checks. It was pretty fun. Uh, and it was also fun during the actual performance to see everyone's reactions as, as you're watching the performance. Uh, so that's camera check. And so when your performance actually starts, uh, the little VTR video will come up and introduce your artist. And then usually they'll do like their opening performance. Uh, and even though you can't see yourself on that screen in the back, the, uh, the performer can see you. As soon as they start performing, the screen in front of them will light up with everybody's video. And so they always encourage, like in the Zoom chat, they're like, hey, your artist wants to see you having fun. So like move around, use your cheering materials and act like you're at an actual physical concert. It's like do the fan chants because the artist wants to see you. In between days one and two, uh, I did get a message. Um, they sent out to everybody. Apparently on the first day people were kind of nervous and not like moving as much as staff wanted them to. So on the second day they were like, make sure you're interacting. Like, <laughs> it was just kind of funny how they were calling out people. Um, of course my obnoxious ass was like, yay! And like reacting really, really in a big way. Um, and I kind of felt stupid because I'm here in my room, um, but like I'm doing YouTube. This is what I'm doing right now. Like, I guess I'm used to it since I do YouTube, but um, you know, other people could see me doing that. And uh, you know, Ace and Woods like saw me being a fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> but um, you know, I guess that's the point is that you want these artists to see you. And so in between their performances during the MC segments, the, the everybody's cameras and videos will be up on the screen behind the artists. And originally I thought it was different than what they saw in front of them. But uh, the video that you see behind them is a reflection of what is being projected in front of them. So uh, even, you know, if you're on the bottom or the edges and part of you is cut off, it's not cut off for the artists. They can see you. It's just the people watching through the KCON stream, uh, they can't see it. Cause this is really, I think, a lot for the artists as well as for us, because I can imagine that performing in front of an empty, like performing in an empty theater can be really disheartening. Um, and so I think that KCON is trying to raise the morale of the artists themselves as well as the fans, um, just so they can see people actually enjoying what they're doing. Uh, you know, and as a performer myself, like that, that would mean a lot to me. So I thought that was kind of an interesting little tidbit. Now I did not get a chance to like be the one fan that, you know, they had a video call one-on-one -on -one during their set. Um, during, Ace didn't do a video call, but during Woods' performance, there was a dude from San Antonio, Texas. That's not too far from me. So I was like, yes, fanboy and a Texan. I love it. Like that made me so happy. Like you're super cool, dude. Um, but I, I don't know if they get a message 
beforehand being like, hey, you're gonna have a video call, prepare a question, or if it's totally random and they're like, boop, let's pick this one. And then, cause the fans always seem kind of genuinely surprised when they get chosen, they're like, ah! But you know, I guess even if I knew before, you know, having an artist I enjoy talk to me specifically, I'd probably freak out too, even if I knew beforehand. So that's one thing that I don't know about this. Now, some people did get chosen for the concert and the meet and greet. So the meet and greet that they do with Eric Nam interviewing everybody, they have uh, fans pop up again on that screen during the meet and greet uh, to wave and say hi. Um, I did not get chosen for the meet and greet, but I did have a few friends who were chosen for the meet and greet. And so basically, uh, in between the performance and the meet and greet, or vice versa, because some artists had their meet and greet before their performance, um, they would do the same kind of camera check and, you know, be seated at this time and be prepared at this time. Like it was the same process as it was uh, for the general check-ins that I'd mentioned earlier in the video. Um, and they did the same thing because Ace had their performance, the meet and greet, and then they did their cover of EXO's Obsession, which was awesome. Um, but in between that, after their performance, the staff was like, okay, be ready at this time, Ace is gonna be back. So, um, you know, you kinda, you have to make sure and keep a watch on your time as you're doing this. Like, you have to be an organized bitch <laughs> if you're gonna be a live KCON audience member. Like, you have to be able to manage your time. Uh, and then another thing is, do not leave the chat, do not leave Zoom, do not leave the room until staff sends a message through Zoom chat saying this session is now over, you may now leave the room. Because if you leave beforehand, they might not let you back in. So, um, because there are multiple things that you might be selected for, like the concert, the meet and greet, or they might have a special stage where they might keep you in the room and then put you back up on screen, uh, you wanna be they're in the room ready for it so staff can just flip the video on and not have to scramble to let a bunch of people in uh, because they accidentally left. So if you are chosen in the future, make sure you stay in your room on Zoom uh, until the staff sends that message. This session is now over. Thank you. You may now leave the room. Uh, and once that's done, you just hit leave meeting like you do on a normal Zoom meeting and then you can continue watching the stream uh, through your YouTube account. Yeah, while you're alive, Kay Connor, the whole thing is being streamed on Zoom, so you can stay in that room and just watch it through Zoom, because apparently if you have the YouTube stream up at the same time where you have your Zoom room up, it might cause some issues. So, um, you know, they're like, just watch it through Zoom while you're here, and then when you leave, you can pull it up on YouTube. I think that's it. I think that is my my whole live K Connor experience. Um, that was pretty wild. <laughs> it was, it was kind of crazy, but honestly, I had such a great time. I loved um, being able to, you know, provide a little bit of morale for these artists that I love. Ace are fantastic performers. They're so, so good. Uh, and of course, Woods Woods, I was very pleasantly surprised by how how good his vocals are live. Like, he just, oh man, it just sounded effortless. It was, oh my God, I was I was stunned. I was stunned. Uh, and everyone's interaction with the fans was so sweet. You could tell they were having a great time. Um, it was just a really heartwarming experience, even though it was a little crazy um, and time was pretty tight. Like, I had a great time, so. If you've ever done this experience, uh, you know, let me know how you felt about it in the comments below. Um, did any of y'all apply this year? Did you get in? Did you not? Um, or would you apply in the future? Uh, and if you have any other questions uh, or if there was anything that I didn't touch upon that you wanna know about, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will answer to the best of my ability. So I would like to Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I am glad that y'all are here. I love our little community that we have. And speaking of community, I have decided to make my Discord server public. So 
The link to join will be in the description box below if you would like to be a member of the Dumpster Club Discord server. Uh, I have servers, uh, servers. I have channels for like K-pop, anime, games, food. Like we we just kind of chill out and talk. Uh, we're still kind of getting things underway with the um, the public invite, but. I hope you come join us. It'll be fun. I would like to thank my patrons on Patreon, listed here, uh, for making videos like these possible. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support every month. And if you would like to check out my Patreon page, the link is in the description box below. I did kind of a Patreon overhaul. I changed up some of the rewards, uh, and I'm kind of excited to get this whole new thing underway. So if you want to check that out, I would appreciate it. Thank you again for watching. Have a great week, and I will see you in the next video.